Well, good morning, YouTube. Uh, we're back here at the boat basin, working on uh, boats. Uh, today I've been working on, I owned a 1989 low classic 24 pontoon boat. And the, the back hatch was uh, a little snarky. The wood was rotted out. So I'm gonna go over how I replaced the, uh, the wood and upgraded the hatch. I hope you enjoy this episode. Thanks for watching. This pontoon hatch was uh, fairly worn. If you look at some spots, uh, you find where the, the fabric is worn through to the uh, basically the carpeting on the 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 hatch is worn through right to the rubber backing. Uh, you find I've, uh, the latch mechanism um, was loose. It was basically installed in a sloppy manner. Uh, the carpet was uh, stained and, and discolored. Uh, it basically, uh, if you take a look at the hinge, uh, the hinge was starting to see some aluminum uh, corrosion plus many of the bolts that held the, uh, the, the fencing around the, the hatch, uh, they were uh, rusted uh, and in uh, real need of some liquid wrench or, or uh, other kind of, of rust dissolver. So it was time to get to, get to taking this thing apart and uh, getting it down where I could use the the bottom board that was under this as a template to make a new one. Okay, here's the back deck out of my 1989 Lowe's Classic Pontoon Boat. Uh, got this in the garage because of some defects. Basically it's a little rotten as you can see that bolt Pulled right through the wood. It's uh, basically time to build a new one. Now here I'm basically removing the uh, carpeting uh, from the backing board. Uh, the backing board I've determined is three quarter inch plywood. Uh, it, but the carpet was glued uh, to the uh, backing board and then the railing around it was uh, basically uh, screwed down uh, through the board, through the carpet, through everything uh, to the other side. So this process uh, you get to uh, <clears throat> see some of my missing hairline and uh, the work of uh, the process I used to remove uh, the carpet and the railing from the hatch. quarter inch plywood I'm taking off uh, the railing um, actually I'm taking this whole hatch apart in pieces uh, I'm taking the carpet off in sections and then I uh, kind of determine what's wrong with the hatch I um, uh, sprayed the 
bolts with some liquid wrench or PB, PB blast or something like that. And I'm uh, removing those uh, to get the railing off of the hatch so I can fully remove the carpeting.
as you can see, we have significant rot. It's time to replace it. I made the new uh, backing uh, board for the hatch uh, using the old one as a template. On the corner that was uh, uh, extremely rotted, um, what I did was I uh, cut the other corner uh, that was not rotted and then used the cutoff piece as a template uh, for the rotted corner so I got the same curves to be used. Then what I did um, was I uh, coated uh, the wood uh, both sides and the edges uh, with resin to protect it for the future. I've got the uh, materials in order, uh, basically new carpet, new backing, uh, contact adhesive, uh, wood glue, uh, repaired the hinges and cleaned them, and all nuts, bolts, and screws are ready to go. Now the first thing I did was put on the backing material. I basically um, uh, cut the holes for the latch and glued the backing material to the bottom side of the hatch. Then I moved on and I used um, waterproof wood glue to glue the carpet uh, to the top side uh, of the backing board. <clears throat> With the railing and the uh, hatch um, assembled, uh, I put the, the hatch, uh, basically I, I fitted it onto the where the hinges were uh, previously uh, using the uh, old board as a template and then went out and kind of uh, did a dry fit on the back of the pontoon boat to make sure the bolts aligned with the holes in the railing. Uh, then I placed the uh, bolts in and did the final assembly with the cushion uh, which is basically snapped to uh, um, screws that that go into the uh, to the hatch it holds the cushion onto the um, hatch and there you have it the the brand new hatch with the cushion uh, all in place uh, ready to go out and have a good day on the water